If you ever use Joy to do Run X on Mariko, you will get this error screen when you boot the Blue OS afterward. But not just that, this guide will fix any other console booting problems too, not just Mariko. Let's get started. This guide uses my head spec. If you don't have it or don't know how to use it, see the link in the description. Download the EMMC hack gen. This PC app generates the NAND partitions to fix the console. Download the EMMC hack gen GUI tool. This little tool will help you use the EMMC hack gen easily. Download the firmware file. Please always download the latest version. Lastly, download the latest .NET desktop runtime. So, when you use my head spec, you will get into Hecate at first boot. On this screen, select console info. Then choose hardware and fuses. You need to check its SKU. As an example, this console is Mariko, and the codename is Iowa. Iowa is the codename for the V2 console. And this is Mariko too, but the codename is Hulk. It is the light version. This is an example of Unpatched Arista, or Unpatched version 1. The codename is Icosa Arista. This console is exploitable to the RCM bug, which means you need to use an RCM jig and a payload injector like a dongle or a software type like the Tegra RCM GUI or Recado. And the last one is still Arista, but the console is patched, which means it uses a mod chip like the one on Mariko. If you have determined the console type, you may close this page. Then select Home. We will now dump the console keys. Select Payloads. Then select Lockpick RCM. Select them from SysNAN. Press the power button to confirm it. And you might see the screen or even with errors like this. As long as it could dump the console keys, then it is OK. Press any key to go back to the main screen. And now select Power Off. Remove the microSD card from the console and open it with your computer. You need an SD card reader from this point. First, let's install the .NET Core desktop runtime. Double-click the installer and follow the on-screen instruction. Now open the EMMC HackGen archive and extract the content into a folder. Open the EMMC HackGen folder and drag or copy the EMMC HackGen GUI into it. Now create a new folder and name it FW. Open the firmware archive and extract its content into the FW folder. Now run the EMMC HackGen GUI. Select the console type. In my case, I select Mariko. Now browse for the console keys. It is located inside the switch folder inside the micro SD card. We have dumped it using the lockpick RCM payload previously. Next, select the firmware folder. It is the FW folder inside the EMMC HackGen folder. And finally, select the EMMC HackGen tool. Then press the Go button. If everything is fine, you will see a new folder inside the EMMC HackGen folder. If nothing is generated, it could be many things, that you didn't supply the correct components like faulty console keys, wrong firmware folder, etc. Please check those items. Enter the newly generated folder. Then open the SD card and get into the scripts folder. Copy the system folder and the boot.bis file from the newly generated folder into the scripts folder.
reinsert the microSD card into the console and turn it on. Select Payloads. Select Tegra Explorer. On this screen, press the power button or any button to continue. Select Browse SD. For the light version, you need to press the volume up and the volume down button to move the cursor, and the power button to confirm the selection. Select Scripts. Select the System Restore version 3.de and launch it. Now select the damage part. Select either the SysMMC or the SysNet, or the MUMMC or the MUNet. In my case, I chose SysMMC. But if both worlds are damaged, you need to select one option at a time and reload the script for the other world. If you don't see this option screen, you don't have the MUMMC or the MUNet, and you are repairing the SysMMC or the SysNet. Now select Restore Both. Then press the power button to restore the system. And after some time, the restore process is completed. Press any key to continue. If you want to repair the MUNN, reload the script. Otherwise, select Folder Back. Select Exit Explorer. Then choose Power Off. After turning on the console, select Launch. Select whatever option you want to choose. And you should be able to boot to the Blue OS normally, either on SysNet or the MUNN. And that's how we fix several console problems using the EMMC Hack Gen tool. Thanks for watching this video.